What's happening guys? Today we're going to have a little fun in the kitchen. We're going to be using ground meat. You can use either beef. I'm going to be using a wild game to make cheeseburger egg rolls. Oh yeah, it's happening. This is what you're going to need. Check it out. There we go. We got pork rinds. I'm going to be throwing in some of the spicy ones. That's going to be your binder. Cheese. Wonton wrappers, of course, two different sizes. There's some garlic. Here's your salt and pepper. Onions. Of course, some ground meat. And don't forget, you're going to need oil. I like to use peanut oil when I'm cooking these because it just tastes better. So let's get started. First, you're going to take your pork rinds. Simple everyday pork rinds. And what I did is I mash them into like a powder that's going to be your binder next we're going to add some ground meat the next fun part about this recipe is we're going to add all the goodies bunch of cheese more cheese more cheese it's a cheeseburger you gotta add cheese then you're going to add how much ever garlic you want to add in there. Your salt. Your pepper. I'm adding some chives. And you're going to mix this all up. Now that you got the mix all done up and ready to go, you want to, wait a second, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Okay, back to business. Now that you have everything mixed up, you want to toss it in the skillet and brown it just a little bit. You don't have to cook it all the way through, but you want to get it close because when you put it in the oil, it'll finish off. So we're going to toss it in and get it browned out i put the cheese in beforehand and i just had maybe a little bit after it just blends everything together really well so you can do it either way so we're going to let this brown and then start wrapping. Here we go. It's almost all browned. I'm going to drain off a little of the juice and let it cool. Add in a little more cheese. Wrap them up and they're going to go in the fryer. So let's let this sucker cool for a little bit. Okay. Okay, now that the meat has cooled off a little bit. We're going to add more cheese. And then we're going to mix it up and wrap these in wonton wrappers. All right. All right, let's wrap one of these up. We're going to start with the big one first. Simple. I'm using egg white, but you can use water. Wipe down the edges of your egg roll wrapper. Pretty simple. If you don't do this and you don't get it nice and covered, your egg roll won't stay together. It'll come apart. And that really sucks. Okay. Now we're going to take a little bit of the mixture. Put it right in the center as you notice with this whole recipe there's not really measurements it's kind of do what you want add the ingredients you want this is just the basic guidelines of making your own cheeseburger when you go to the restaurant you can get your cheeseburger however you want it and that's how you can make it here there's the larger ones 
And let's get one of these bad boys. A little bit of a pain in the butt to get these apart. Let's peel one. You notice these are a lot smaller and you're going to be using a lot less filling. Go figure. Common sense. Wow. Now, just remember when you're doing the smaller ones, they're going to cook a lot faster. Surprise, surprise. Okay, that might even be a little too much. There we go. Little snack size ones. Same idea. Even though these are rectangle, you can still wrap them the sim same way. It just takes a little bit of finesse. You got yourself a little one. And these will cook in about two minutes. These will cook in about three minutes. Because all the meat inside is already cooked, all you need to do is just finish it off and get a nice crust on your egg roll. I want to continue doing some more, and then we'll throw them in the fryer. Okay, here's what I've got done so far. We're going to do the little ones first. The oil is a little too hot, but let's just put them in and see how long it takes. Remember, they're already cooked inside. We're just finishing them off. It shouldn't take too long. Just moving them around a little bit. Pretty close to being done. Like that one's done. So just about one minute and you can see they can get overdone really quick. So with the little ones and the oil is a little hot. So let's drop these bad boys in and see should take a little bit longer. Oh yeah. We'll actually check back in a second. Okay. We are just over a minute. We're going to go ahead and flip them. Well, it helps if you actually watch me flip them. We're going to let them set for just one more minute. They're cooking quick. Right, let's take a look. Perfect. We're at about two minutes. A minute each side. Like I said, the oil might be a little hot, but... Those cooked way too quick. I had it too hot for them. This is a larger egg roll. Turned out pretty damn good. All right, I'm gonna cook the rest and finish wrapping up the rest of the meat. Sorry, I'll, I'll be back. Help with that. Here are other things you can try. What the heck is going on? I don't know what the heck that thing does half the time. We'll be back. All right, everyone, here's the finished product. Yeah, you can see the little ones went a little too hot, too fast. The bigger ones turned out perfect. So let's give this a try. A little mustard, a little ketchup. Mmm. That's good. Okay. Let's see what the big ones look like. Mustard ketchup. Cheeseburger. So good. Well, there we go. Cheeseburger egg rolls. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Get in my belly! Come on!